Now, before I send you on your journey through time, I have a few things to show you. Here, at the Institute for Future Technology, my crowning achievement, the new experimental eight-passenger time travel vehicle. It's this baby that will send you across the space-time continuum one day into the future. Heine! <laughs> What's that, Heine? You see some... Ooh! Great Scott! It seems we have an intruder alert! All sectors report in immediately! Quadrant 1, check in. Quadrant 1, locked and secured, Doc. Level 2, check in. Level 2, locked and secured, Doc. Section 3, check in. Section 3, locked and secured, Doc. Zone 4, check in. Zone 4, do you copy? <coughs> I'm a butthead! <coughs> Jumpin' Jigglebots! It's Biff! I'm sorry, folks. We've got problems! There's only one troublemaker who can throw a monkey wrench in the works like this. Biff Tannen, juvenile delinquent, graduated Hill Valley High School, class of 1955. 1955? There's something very strange going on around here. At any rate, stay alert. If Tannen gets his hands on some of the equipment around here at the Institute, it could mean the end of the very universe as we know it. Anyway... Enjoy the rest of your visit. It's only a matter of time before we catch that juvenile delinquent, so don't worry. I need watch the monitors. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Huh? What are you looking at, butthead? Wait a second. You're the sucker's Doc Brown conned into his time travel experiment. You know, some of Doc Brown's guinea pigs never make it back. <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't volunteer. I just hope the doc's making it worth your while. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I can make it worth your while. That is, if you help me find Doc Brown's time machine. What's the matter, you chicken? There's no way Doc Brown's gonna stop me now. Excuse me. I gotta finish my repair work. <laughs> Even though we have a little security problem on our hands, we must prepare you for temporal displacement. That's time travel to you. Perhaps this demonstration will suffice. <gasps> Figuring out the space-time continuum is tricky business. Believe me, I know. And that's why I developed this. My ultimate scientific achievement, the new eight-passenger time vehicle. It's faster, more energy efficient, and it's a convertible. I figure if you know what the weather is going to be like in the future, why not just time travel to the sunny days? But it's only for those who take time travel very seriously, and that means you. But remember, this is all top secret. With Tannen on the loose, we can't afford to take any chances. I assure you this is hardly business as usual here at the Institute. A mere fluke. Our security system is virtually impenetrable. It'll take a lot more than a hoverboarding hood to pull the plug on this operation. Oh! Darn, darn, darn. Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. There's a lot you'll need to know if you're to successfully cross the space-time continuum. We'll have to hurry, though. With Biff still on the loose, anything could happen. Hello? Hello, Dr. Brown? <laughs> Biff, how in blazes did you get in here? Why don't you ask these bozos? Doc, one of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one to pass up a free ride. Tannen! You shouldn't be here in the present! 
We've got to get you back to 1955, or we could create a major paradox! Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll go back. And in style. But first, I'm gonna take a little joyride. No! Biff! I'd love to stay and chat, Doc. I just ain't got the time. What am I saying? I got all the time I want! <laughs> Unlock these gates, Talon! Hasta la bye-bye! No! No! <laughs> He's got the time travel vehicle! This is terrible! He's gonna alter time! History as we know it will be completely obliterated! If he's not stopped, we could- Wait a second! Ah! Why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention, the eight-passenger time vehicle. That's it! I'll just hop in it! Great Scott! What am I thinking? I'm trapped like I'm right in my own office! There's no way I can get into that time machine! Hold on a minute! I can get to it, but... My time travel volunteers... You, and you, and you! You're my only hope! The eight-passenger time vehicle is just beyond that door where you're standing! I can pilot it from my remote control from here, but I'm going to need you to help me navigate! You've got to catch Biff! The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands! I almost forgot! In order to successfully bring Biff back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. The impact of two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex, sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when Biff may be leading us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. Get in. Watch your step. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get ready. Don't worry about a thing. You're in good hands. Oops. I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. But no matter. We're a mission of universal proportions. Doc, Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have traveled to. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our cue. Hang on to your hats. Don't forget, when you see Biff in the time vehicle, accelerate to 88 miles per hour and bump it! Accelerate now to 55 miles per hour. 65, 75, 85, 88 miles per hour! Hill Belly in the year 2015. And there's Biff. Let's get him. Oh, oh, the crap. Okay, time travelers. Now's our chance. Oh, yeah, that's what you think. Whoa. Gotta get some gas, Doc. Ha-ha! <laughs> Up here, Doc! <laughs> Going down! Down! Going up! Down, low! Up, up, down! Going up! Hello? <laughs> We've got him now! Okay, let's... Hey, Doc! Great Scott! Here's my new house. You like it? Up, up! Turn left! Look out! Up! Ha <laughs> I can fly circles around you buttheads! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Watch for traffic, Doc! <laughs> They've got him! Come on, Bump Doc! Him. Bump him! Faster! Fuckers! <laughs> Biff got away! Looks like we're headed a million years back in time! And that's Hill Valley below us, in the Ice Age! You back again? Come on in. Pull up! Pull up! Oh! Kaboom! <laughs> Watch out for snow! Give it up, Talon, before this crevasse starts! Oh my! Woo! Oh, whoa! Oh. Avalanche! Oh, is it scaring you? Huh? Oh. See you later! Take care! Blast! The engine's dead! Oh! Everybody lean back! No, lean right! Wait, 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 wait! No, oh, no! Hold on! Come on, baby! Start! Yahoo! We're going backwards! Hey, 
Bring in their volunteers. Beep, beep. Head toward that volcano. Hello, buttheads. <laughs> hey, you guys don't know when to give up, do you? Prepare yourselves, people. I suspect that the primeval hill valley that we're about to enter could be a pretty rough place. Hello? Anybody home? Great huh? Scott! A dinosaur! Hello? <laughs> it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Look out! Right this way, Gramps. Come on. Come on, Gramps. Right this way. Now sick him! <laughs> Great Scott! Look out! Calm down, big fella. Calm down. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Hey! Hey, hey, I'm hit! I'm hit! I know, Biff! What in blazes? What's those doors? Ah! Look out! We've been swallowed! Hang on! should send us straight back to the Institute. Thanks, Doc Brown. You saved my life! Butthead! Get your meat hooks off of me! You did it! Not only did you catch Biff and save the universe, but you proved that my latest invention is a success! Go forth, time travelers, and remember, the future is what you make it!